Hi everyone, it's Tasha. First up for today's video, I want to do an abstract painting on this piece of canvas that's already framed that I found at Goodwill the other day for $7.99. Now I have already gone through and painted the background of this white and gotten ready for whatever I wanted to do with it. I wasn't quite sure. This canvas is about 20 by 20, including the frame. I'm pulling out my trusty set of brushes, which I use all the time. I can link those for you. And for this project, I'm also having on hand a piece of steel wool. And the colors I'm going to be using are gonna be a little bit of burnt umber, some black, this color called Roasted Pecan, and this color is called Beachcomber Beige. I can link all of these in the description box below. So after looking around for quite a while on my Pinterest board and trying to decide which one of my many art inspiration pins that I might want to try on this, I kind of still couldn't decide. So I'm just going for something sort of in between. I love all the inspo pieces with the brown and black mixed together that's very dark and very warm, but I also like a lot of the paintings that are more of a white background with some kind of wabi-sabi black lines on top. So I think I'm gonna try something kind of in the middle of all of that and we'll just see what comes out. The first thing I'm doing is covering this with a color called Beachcomber Beige. Then I'm taking a piece of steel wool and I'm going in with some of those browns, the burnt umber and the roasted pecan. And I'm just tapping to make this kind of spongy look and I'm going heaviest on all of the corners and the edges. I have a vision of this having very dark corners and kind of like smoking towards the center, if that makes sense, kind of like another um, piece that I've already done. And I know I'm gonna go heavy and go back with black on the edges and the corners. So I'm just kind of layering colors on there, knowing that I'm gonna go darker and darker on those outsides. And now I'm going in with actual black strokes with my paintbrush to make some kind of wabi-sabi shapes and lines on this. I know I want a big heavy block on that right side, so I'm going in with some darker strokes on the left as well to kind of balance it out. And as well as the top left corner, I'm going pretty heavy up there. I'm also making some little wisps and little lines throughout so that it looks nice and imperfect. And I'm telling myself the whole time that it's going to look better once it's in the frame. It's gonna look better once I take this tape off. So we'll see if that's true. And here's the moment of truth. I'm taking off the ugly blue painter's tape and let's see how it looks. I did actually go back right after I took the tape off and just take a little more black paint and go down the edges so that the white part of the canvas wasn't showing through around the frame. And this is the final result. For now I'm putting this in a cozy little spot in my front living area right next to the blanket ladder and I think it brings together some of the browns in my room as well as the black fireplace and black console table that are a little bit out of shot but which you can see throughout the room. I'm really happy with how this turned out for now and I can always paint over it if I wanna change it to something else later. 
And by the way, if you're enjoying this video, please take a second to hit like and hit subscribe if you want to see more of them in your feed. Next up for today's video, I'm going to actually be sharing some pieces from around my home for what I call thrift inspiration for you guys. So these are not necessarily the most valuable things that I've ever gotten secondhand, but they are just things that I think are really great buys and I just want to share them with you so that you can be inspired to go out wherever you are and look for some scores of your own. First up, I have this very large basket. As you can see, it's a very thick basket. I got this actually from a yard sale and the lady said that I could have it for all of the cash that I had left, which at the time was $7. So it was a $7 basket. And then actually the blanket that is inside of it, this is a very large Afghan. And as you can see, it's very unique. It's got these kind of poof balls sewn in. It's got this fringe and this only cost me $3.99 from a Salvation Army. And next up is this beautiful round ceramic brown vase. It's got this lovely etching all throughout the top. It is just really heavy, really nice, and I was really excited to find this one at a Goodwill a couple of weeks ago. I think it cost $7.99 if my memory is correct, but it was well worth the $8 for sure. And next I want to show you this very large painting that I found at a Goodwill. It's over 50 inches long, so it's nice and large, taking up a lot of wall space. We have it over our TV in our family room. It was $9.99. It is an absolutely beautiful landscape by a painter named Richard Lawrence. He was originally born in Germany, but he became famous for painting a lot of American Western scenes, lots of horses, lots of landscapes, and I really, really like this one. I ended up painting the frame black and then putting some gold rub and buff over it to give it an antique gold look rather than the plain wood that it was, but I absolutely love this piece. And next up, I have this just round, cream-colored vase. It's just a very versatile piece. It looks great with any kind of flowers, and this was only $1.99 at Goodwill. Also, the table that it's sitting on was $30 from a different thrift store. It was in great shape, and I didn't do anything to it but paint the hardware black. And then the next item, Honestly, comment. If you guys know what this is before I say it, then I'm impressed. Let me know in the comments if you already knew, but this is actually a birthing stool. A lot of these are African, and so I bought it at a yard sale, and the man told me that it was an African birthing stool. I can't be 100% sure of that, but that is the type of stool that it is. Now, these are actually used for birthing sometimes, or were more in the past, but they are often just used for seating or decoration purposes now. And as you can see, I searched online for some comparable looking birthing stools, and these can get pretty pricey when you buy them online. So everyone is into those primitive wood stools, and this one is that, but it's also very unique, not just a round stool. I love it, love it, love it. It's in our entryway. Next up, I found this really, really cute painting of these pretty little birds. I can't figure out who the artist is based on an online search, but it might be someone local here that took their work to be framed. But the main draw for this was the actual frame. I mean, look how thick this is. This frame is everything. and. I snatched it up just for that purpose, really. It cost me $9.99 for this framed painting. This was at Goodwill. So all in all, I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of my favorite pieces that I've thrifted. There are a lot more than I can show right now, but just more art, actually. Lots of art, lots of textiles. And so I just wanna encourage you to get out there to your local thrift shop or consignment shop or whatever you have near you and treasure hunt because you never know what you'll find. Thanks so much for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe, hit like. Let me know if you knew what that birthing stool was before I said, and I will see you all at the next video.